Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions, the worlds of sports. Pop culture, news, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. The NHL draft is around the corner, and you, we are having a chance to talk to players that will have their chance to get their name called up, and they have one step closer to the NHL, dream, the dream of playing in the NHL. And uh, we're speaking to a forward from the Shawinigan Cataracts um, in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, Maverick Bork. Maverick, welcome to Pop Alternative. Thank you. Um, right off the bat, I mean, it's, it's been kind of an interesting, I mean, we're talking about the NHL draft, but it's October and it's been a weird dynamic. How have you, how have you and your kind of teammates and other draft eligible prospects been kind of dealing with this? Um, it, it's real different, you know, um, last year I was ready to, to be in my draft year and, uh, play with the pressure like, like that. And, uh, this year it was like a, a second year like that. So, uh. Uh, it was a little bit uh, tougher than than what, what I thought, um, but uh, I need to 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 play uh, through the the pressure and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Absolutely, and it's kind of weird because you might not be able to actually physically go to the NHL draft, but it's still going to be a very special moment where you're going to kind of be with your family and kind of be on the screen and wait for your name to call. I mean, it's going to be a special moment, and it's kind of the calm before the storm right now a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, I think uh, whatever uh, it will, uh, I I will be pretty happy. Uh, I will be at home uh, with my family, so. Uh, I think for sure Montreal, uh, uh, like the the draft was supposed to be at the Bell Center, so yeah. it will be pretty pretty fun. But uh, I think uh, I will I will be pretty happy when uh, my name will uh, get called. Yeah, it would have been kind of a cool moment for guys like you and Alexi Lafreniere, you know, who are from the Montreal area. It's but you know this it it's just been a really crazy year. Um, and uh, specifically, you mentioned last year in Shawinigan. I mean, you you played for the Cataracts. I mean, this is this is a team that has a very good track record of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. This team has won championships. This team has had very good teams, uh, uh, players playing. What have you learned from playing in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, and how has it made you a better player? Um, you know, I arrived at uh, at Shawi at sixteen. I was pretty young. Uh. I know how to play the game, but uh, not in all uh, all the area. Um, Dan was my my head coach, so uh, he brings me to the highest level. Um, I remember the, the first time I went there, he told me that uh, he will not put me pressure about my my stats and stuff like that. So uh, he just asked me to to play and have fun. So uh, I just grew up uh, since the first day. I'm more mature. I'm more, I'm more bigger, some stuff like that. So um, I learned a lot on and off the ice, and uh, I really like to play in the QMJHL. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. Um, what does Maverick Bork need to do in order to play professional hockey? What what needs to be kind of worked on? Um, I just need to, to continue to to do uh, the the best I, I do. I, I'm a really re- smart player. So I need to continue to create plays, uh, continue to to compete every game, and I think this uh, this will help me to to bring me to to the pro level. And uh, you know, everybody have uh, weakness, so I know I need to be more stronger, a little bit more faster. So it will uh, help me. Absolutely, this is obviously a event that circled on the calendar. Another event that a lot of players of your age group kind of look at is a tournament that you know I'm going to talk about called the World Junior Hockey Championship. That's a tournament that a lot of players want to play in and represent their country. Um, does it kind of, it's interesting kind of the journey, right? It's like the NHL draft and you go back to your team and then like the World Juniors are on Christmas time. Have you thought about that stuff or are you kind of just trying to take it like one at a time type thing, Maverick? Um, honestly, right now with the draft and the season just started, uh... 
I don't really think about uh, about this, but uh, I know I can be invited uh, at the camp, and uh, if it ha- happen, I will be pretty happy, and uh, if not, uh, I will make sure that uh, I will be there next year. Was there anything specifically, because during the quarantine, like the COVID and everything, it, there was a lot of lockdowns, and you know, you might not have been ac- had access to you know, the gym you usually go to and you might not have been able to go on the ice right away, but were there some things that you were doing? Like a lot of players were doing like roller hockey. A lot of players were doing stick handling drills. Like what were you kind of doing during that time? Like in terms uh, of off ice? Just, just like you, you said, uh, uh, I bought some uh, Marsh Blade for rollers. Um, I did a lot of stick handling, shooting, shooting pucks. And uh, I did a lot of training in, in my home. With only my my body, so uh, yeah, I just continue to, to work on um, my physical uh, physical part. Absolutely. Um, did you have a chance to watch a little bit of the NHL Stanley Cup uh, Finals, the playoffs? Yeah, I watch every game, and it's insane how hard the game of hockey has become to play. Like this is crazy, right? Like the amount of hits yeah. in this game, it's nuts. It's yeah, just it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's nuts. Like, do you kind of look at that and be like, "Wow!" Like, in or like now, you know, I'm playing in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. It's tough there, you know what I mean? But this is like a whole different level, you know what I mean? Yeah, for for sure. I just saw it. Uh, the guy are backchecking or blocking shot or they it uh, everything they this 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 on the ice. So, um, yeah, I know it's it's look it's look hard, but um. I think this is my my style of play. I'm a I'm a player who like to compete, and uh, I will be I will be ready if uh, my day come. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you mentioned that a little bit. Can you elaborate? Like, what are other reasons why an NHL team should draft or consider drafting Maverick Bork? Like, what are they going to get with you? You know, you have a gritty st- size. You, you have a gr- gritty style. You could put the puck in the net. You could do a lot of different plays. But what specifically will they get with Maverick Bork? Uh, certainly, my my hockey sense. Uh, uh, I'm a and I'm a good leader. So uh, I'm a guy who's who can fit everywhere. Um, so I think this is a big part of me that uh, I can adjust uh, myself to where I will be. Absolutely. No, for sure. Um, there's a lot of like NHL dry- rankings and social media. A lot of people have opinions on certain things and it might be a bit difficult, you know, because some people have you going in the first round. Some people have you, you know, going in the early second round. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you get drafted, your name's called, you have one chance, you have a shot to play in the National Hockey League. How do you as a player kind of block all that out and just kind of focus? Because it's kind of hard. It's like a fly on a windshield. You know what I mean? Like it's there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know you you need to to do a little wall between this and uh, you know it's uh, at the end of the day it's not the all the social media who will decide the ranking. It's it's the team. So uh, I know uh, sometimes you you need to, to take some something that happened in social media and something you just need to throw it away. So. Uh, I need to to do a mix between those two type and uh, stay focused on what I do best. You had a chance to play in the CHL Top Prospects game, and I feel like that's just a game that showed how deep this NHL draft is. There's a lot of amazing players in, in this draft class. Um, specifically, you know, there's you know the Alexi Lafreniere's, the Quinton Byfields, the Cole Perfetti's. Um, that are in the public eye and a lot of people know about them. Were there some other players that you played it with in that game that you didn't really know about that you were like, wow, like this is a really good player? Um, I, I think everybody was was pretty good. Um, I played with uh, Adelinka Gretzky with Gouli. Um, he was pretty good, I think, at the prospect game. Uh, and for sure, Foster put two goals at this game, so... Uh, but I think everybody, uh, everybody is pretty good uh, uh, to be there, and uh, it was pretty fun to play this game. Yeah, I believe you guys just played because the season has started right now. You guys played Shakutami, I, I believe, correct? Yeah. 
And that game had a lot of scouts or a lot of people were kind of watching that game because of yourself, Dawson Mercer, Hendricks Lapierre. Was that kind of like, that's interesting, right? It's like the first game of the season, but because of like the COVID and the draft being in October, it's like usually the first game of the season isn't really kind of like sought after as much. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it was weird, weird a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, uh, my my last preseason game, I think uh, we had a uh, four scout in the stand only for preseason game. So it's a little bit weird, but uh, I just need to stay focused on my game uh, when this happened and uh, be with the boys to to help the team to win. Uh, no, uh, for sure. It's 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 one of those things too where like. You also can't control the unknown. You go out there, you kind of play the game and everything. Um, but is there something that you want to work on this year with, with Shawinigan that that like to make you kind of a better player? Like you know, we always say like bigger, faster, stronger. But is there anything specifically this year from Maverick Um Just keep, keep my foot uh, moving more. Sometimes I just slow down the pace and stuff like that. But I know at the highest level, uh, sometimes I will not able to to do it. So I just need to to keep my feet uh, moving and. Uh, Keep uh, keep playing uh, like I can. It's 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 one of those things too. Like your style of game, essentially. Like you know, you play you play center, right? Yeah. But you can play wing as well if they wanted you to. But you're mostly a center. Do you find though that this that that position because it's like it's an important position and there's a lot of kind of focus on that position and there's a lot of pressure. How are you kind of dealing with that pressure? Because I feel like centermen have become a very sought after position in the National Hockey League. Um, I play centerman since since I'm young, so um, I I know what centermen need to do. He need to help his uh, his D in the in the D zone and stuff like that. And uh, I'm I'm ready to to do it. I think uh, I'm getting better at it. Uh, I like to to win face off and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I think a uh, good line starts with, with a good center. So uh, I like to be in control of my line. So uh, yeah, but uh, if I need to to play the wing, I will do it. I think my my hockey sense uh, can help me at the wing too. Absolutely. No, for sure. That's that's great. Well, Maverick, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I know we've been wanting to do this for a while, but I'm happy we were able to finally get this done. Thank you. Um, so, again, um, it's an exciting time, you know what I mean? Um, whatever happens, happens. But, you know, a player with a good hockey sense um, and a player who kind of adapt to different situations, is that kind of what you hope NHL teams will see with Maverick Bork when they have the chance to draft you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? You have Instagram, you have Twitter. Is it just your name or? Uh, it's uh, Maverick. Uh, Bon Rambo. Yeah. Yep. Need to. <laughs> First week. Well, um, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, and all the best for the draft, man. Love Shippa. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative. For previous episodes, until next time, this is Maverick Bork and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.